Thank you. I made a few notes. Thank you. This is amazing. Look at this thing. Yeah, you can sit. You can sit. Yeah, thank you. This is, this is going to be a while, so I'll sit down. I thought the statue would be a little bigger, but it's, it looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to start off telling a, a quick story. Uh, it's, it's June 1998. Uh, I just got on a plane to come to, to Dallas after I got drafted. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if anybody knew me. Um, I was nervous. I was anxious. I get off the plane and I see hundreds of fans. I see dirt posters. I see signs. I was like, man, this is pretty cool. This is, this is amazing. They really want me to come here and, and, and appreciate me. And I'll never forget that. And I, from that point on, it kind of was ingrained in my mind that Dallas is, is my spot to be. Well, there's a kicker. There's a kicker to that story. A couple of years after, I was talking to a Mavs employee, and uh, I said, remember a couple of years ago when I first got here and I touched down, and there were so many fans, it was amazing. And he turns to me and says, those are not fans. Those are Mavs employees, and they were sent out there. <laughs> but they were sent out there to greet me, but I, I didn't know the difference at the time, so. It, it made a huge, uh, a huge impact on me. Um, before I start getting into the Mavs organization, um, I want to thank Commissioner Adam Silver for, for coming tonight and, and speaking at this ceremony. It means a lot. You're, you're so approachable and, and so humble as a leader, and we can all learn from you. So thank you very much for being here tonight. Um, I want to thank all the, uh, all the speakers in, in the video. I mean, uh, fantastic. Uh, some, some guys I've been with for, for a long, long time, so um, that was amazing. Um, I want to thank uh, Laura Beth Production and Synth and, and the Mavs crew for, uh, for putting this night on. What a, what a special ceremony. And so thank you, uh, thank you guys for, for putting this on. And the first guy I want to thank um, from the Mavericks is a guy that um, actually had season tickets right by the Mavs bench when I first got here, and he kept yelling at all the players for my season tickets. Uh, and so we always kind of uh, looked at the guy, but he always believed in me, and he always supported me on and off the floor. Uh, he was super competitive, and we developed a great relationship, and he even came to my bachelor party. Uh, he loves, loves the referees. I mean, loves them. Um, but what I, honestly, what I appreciate most about the guy is his, his huge heart, and he's been super loyal to me. So you guys know I'm talking about Mark. Uh, Mark, Mark, you're, uh, you're known as, as the tough businessman but I got to know a whole lot of different side. And I, I will always remember in 2010, I was a free agent and I come to your house and uh, we shared stories. We both got emotional and we s decided to extend a couple more years and we ended up winning the championship in year one. So <laughs> thanks, thanks Mark for everything you've done for me and my family and I will always be grateful, thank you. Um, I want to thank the two Nelsons, uh, Donnie and Don. Um, they were, I was, I was just drafted and I wasn't sure whether I was coming um, to the US. Um, I wasn't sure if I was ready, so immediately when they heard this, both got on the plane uh, with, with the owner at the time, Ross Burrow Jr., and came to my hometown. Uh, of Würzburg, and uh, met my family, met Holger, wanted to see my roots, and that, that meant a lot to me. Uh, that showed me that 
they came all this way and they they wanted uh, they wanted me very badly and that that uh, meant a lot to me and um, I always remember um, we had a barbecue at Holger's house but I was they were staying with me in Würzburg so we got in my little golf at the time a little Volkswagen so that's that's the first car I had right so I'm I'm driving on the autobahn they're both passed out because they're jet lagged and all of a sudden about 30 minutes into the drive the engine the engine light goes on and it screeks so loud they're both waking up staring at me I'm like I have no idea what's going on but Point of the story is that they're uh, to make they made that effort to come all the way to make me feel welcome and, and, and want me to go come over there that that meant a lot to me and of course they uh, they helped me a lot early in my career to really get going and old Nels with it with his philosophy of giving me freedom and letting me shoot so these two guys are owe a lot so Nelson's I'll always be grateful <laughs> then uh, then came Avery Johnson. Uh, we, used to, uh, we used to call him the little general. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll never forget. Uh, we, we played in Phoenix, big game. I missed a few jumpers, uh, of course, in a row. Uh, he calls a timeout. And he takes his chair and puts his chair directly in front of me. We spend the whole time out nose to nose for 90 seconds and uh, just letting me have it. But what I appreciate most about Avery is that he pushed me uh, to become a better all-around player uh, and his intensity and, and focus was, and determination was next to no other. So thanks, Avery, for, for pushing me to be a better player. <laughs> and then, uh, then came our sizzle, we like to call him, Rick. Rick Carlisle, uh, he was one of a kind. Uh, so Mark asked me, he's like, hey, we're, we're interviewing Rick. Do you want to come listen in? And I said, yeah, I'll come over to the house. Um, and so after four hours of talking hoops, he asked me to get up and do all these Larry Bird moves around the table. And I'm running through the, through the kitchen and, and, uh, and living room. And he was just, he was, he paid attention to every detail, as, as you guys would know. And he was a great, great basketball mind. And, he brought us the championship here to Dallas, so uh, forever. Uh, if you see this, Rick, thanks so much for everything that you've done for me. Also supporting always my foundation events. Uh, he even came to my retirement party in Vegas. He stuck out like a sore, sore thumb, but he made it uh, and the effort counted. But Rick, thanks a lot, my guy. I had so many assistant coaches uh, that were amazing. I think there's too many to mention. A couple of them you saw in the video, but uh, assistant coaches work really, really hard, and uh, they, they sacrifice a lot of their family life. So all of my assistants I ever worked with, uh, I really appreciate it. Um, the three legends, the three legends to Ro Blackman, uh, Derek Harper and Brad Davis, my guys. Uh, at some point or another, all three of them were, were mentors uh, of mine, and they, were, they put basketball on the map here in the 80s. Uh, they are great role models for, for our organization and, and what this organization stands for. So it's, it's an honor to call you guys friends and mentors, and it's, it's, it's an honor to be amongst you guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> then I have a... Lots of teammates, uh, and, and it always starts with Steve and, Steve and Mike. You guys saw them on the video. Uh, two guys that I can always lean on, ask questions, uh, and I needed their, their guidance so much at the beginning when I was homesick a lot, and uh, they helped me so much on and off the floor. So um, to Steve and Mike, they're like brothers. We still have a great friendship now. We go on vacation together in the summer with our kids. Um, this is, that's a bond for life. <laughs> to my other teammates, I had almost 200 of them. Uh, it's, that's a lot. Obviously, way too many uh, to mention. But I always try to respect everybody. 
have fun with everybody, not see myself as a bigger part of the puzzle. Always try to make uh, everybody feel welcome. And that was, uh, that was my style of, of leadership, always joking around uh, with everybody. And I think it kind of sums up um, a couple years ago when I won the Twyman Stokes uh, Award for, for uh, Teammate of the Year. And you know how many teammates voted for me at the time? None. So that meant a lot. That meant a lot to me. Uh, no, on a serious note, um, the teammates, they always put up with me. And I know I was at times negative on the court, but uh, they, uh, <laughs> they always put up with me. Uh, of course, to the 2011 team, my guys. My guys. Uh, unfortunately, um, through, through Corona, of course, we didn't have our 10-year anniversary this year. Um, so I'm so happy that some of you guys came uh, and, and we got to spend a little bit of time uh, together. I always say that was an unbelievable team because we had a bunch of older guys that all had done individual stuff before in the league. And, and now it was time to do, put it together as a team. And everybody put their egos to the side. Uh, we had a blast with each other on the road trips, and it was just a, a great bond, and love you guys. Thanks for coming all this way. Um, then, of course, there's a, a lot of people are work behind the scenes that you don't see on a daily basis that, that make this work. Um, you know, whether it's uh, the physiotherapist with, you know, Case and Dion, or, you know, the doctors and, uh, you know, the, the massage therapist, Spangs, or, uh, you know, the equipment guy, Big Al and his crew, and, um, you know, the strength coaches with Jeremy and his crew, and the PR guys, uh, Scott or Scooter and, and Sarah and all his, their crew, and, uh, you know, the, the security guys with Bishop and Earls, and, uh, you know, so many guys uh, that work so hard. The whole um, basketball ops side of the Mavericks office with, with KG and Christy and everybody. Or, um, and, and, and of course, the whole Mavs, um, the, the AAC staff uh, that puts a, a great outing on here every night. So there are so many people behind the scenes that uh, sacrifice a lot for us to just come out here and and play, so thank you guys for all your hard work. As you see, there's a lot of people to thank on the Mavericks organization, but there was also another pillar outside of the Mavericks. Uh, and so I wanna thank um, Kim Bahuni, you saw her in the video, she is uh, in charge of the international uh, basketball for the, for the NBA, and Kim, you made things a lot easier for me at the beginning, whether it was getting getting a visa for me to come or uh, so I want to thank Kim Bahuni. Um, you saw uh, Andrea Saklis in the video, um, the Secretary General of FIBA. I want to thank you for coming all this way from Switzerland to be here tonight and, and share this moment. And I learned a lot from you the last two years, so thank you. I want to thank my, uh, my national team guys, uh, you know, the coaches the staff, um, all my teammates. I've had a blast representing my country every summer. Uh, we had some great success. And of course, I'll never forget when I led my nation into the stadium in 2008 for the Olympics. So uh, thanks to all my national team friends. And uh, you know, the only constant in life is, is change. And um, I'm happy to say that uh, two partners were with me my entire career, and that's Nike and, and ING. They supported me through thick and thin, and even now, my foundation work after my career. So thanks to those three, two great partners. Um, I want to thank the, the, the media. Uh, I, I always try to be respectful, and you guys try to, uh, were always fair with me. So uh, I thank you guys. And then the, the last pillar I want to thank is, is, uh, is my family. Um, there is the first, the first, the first two are actually not physically family, but they're emotionally family. 
And I want to start with, uh, with Lisa Taina. Um, she is, uh, Lisa worked for the Mavs at the time when I got here. Uh, I didn't know how to write a check. I didn't know how to function. I didn't know how to live here. I didn't know how to rent a car. I didn't know anything. And Lisa took me in as, as one of her own. So Lisa, I'll for always be grateful and love you. Um, this next guy um, that taught me a lot on and off the floor. And he also taught me that the first impression is not always the right one. Because I, when I first met him, I thought he was a weirdo. Uh, he, uh, he's a great teacher. Um, and he had super unique training methods. Super unique training methods. Uh, whether he had me going through the gym in frog leaps or doing handstands, uh, dribbling the ball with somebody playing the saxophone. Uh, I mean, it was, it was nuts. Uh, but we had a blast. Um, and we ended up having a, a great relationship. We traveled the world together. Um, but what I appreciate most about the guy is uh, that he was a great mentor and he was always there when I needed him. So, of course, you guys know I'm talking about Holger. You are. Holger, uh, I know you don't love the limelight, even though you got a nice suit on today, I gotta say. Uh, but you're a shy and, and modest guy. Um, and, but this is as much as, uh, about you as it is about me. Um, so thanks for everything you've done for me and my family. I want to thank uh, my parents, Helgus and Jay Dub. Uh, thank you for, for just your, your sacrifice growing up. I played about three or four sports at the same time. Uh, they were driving me from from gym to gym, and they were, they, they were the best parents uh, and so supportive that, uh, that I could hope for. So uh, thanks to my parents, and I love you guys, and so happy you guys could be here today. Um, my my father-in-law is here today, so Bernd, thanks for coming all the way from Sweden. Um, but what I appreciate most about you is your daughter. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so there's that. So, uh, Jess, Jess, uh, you are the, the, the backbone of, of our family and you keep this thing rolling. And uh, I love you. You're, you're the best mom, you're the best wife. So, thank you for everything you do. And to my kids, Malaika. Max, Morris, you know, I always tell you guys, uh, find your passion in life and then, and then work hard and something great can happen. So I love you guys and I'm, I'm proud to be your dad. Well, that's it. That's it. Uh, I forgot one more pillar. I forgot one more very important, incredibly important pillar. And that pillar always um, gave me a warm welcome when I got here. And this pillar always wanted me to succeed. And they always pushed me, and gave me the strength to work hard and motivated me. And, uh, but what I appreciate most was this pillar supported me during, during the tough, tough playoff times and playoff losses. So you know what? That pillar is you. That is the fans. That is. Thank I almost made it through without getting emotional, but you guys, you guys get me every time. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for making this journey incredible. And thank you for taking in a, a long, lanky kid over 20 years ago and, and making him one of your own. I'll be always grateful. Thank you.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.